Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and welcome to the Seaborne Ovation. We boarded this mega yacht in Lisbon, Portugal, and we're taking a repositioning cruise to Barbados. The Seaborne Ovation was launched in 2018, and it has a capacity of about 600 passengers and 420 crew. For this particular crossing, we have about 473 passengers on board. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Today we are going to look at cabin 729, a category V3 veranda suite on the Seaborne Ovation located mid forward on deck seven, starboard side. The cabin itself is very private from the hallway. Closest to the door, you'll find the bathroom followed by a small vanity, then the sleeping area, and a living space with a balcony. The room is decorated in warm colors with gray carpeting, cream colored walls, and dark teak wood. The living space is about 302 square feet with an additional about 75 square foot veranda. Each suite comes with a pillow menu where you can choose extra firm, firm, or soft pillows. The bed can be configured as either one queen or two twin beds. There are switchable reading lights above each side of the bed. There are two small drawers and one extra shelf in each bed stand. There are plenty of outlets in the room Next to each bed is one USB-A, one USB-C, one EU, and one US outlet. On the phone next to the bed are two additional USB-A outlets. Light switches are also located near the bed, and here is a very nice function where you can turn on a nightlight that has a motion sensor when you get up to go to the restroom in the middle of darkness. There is plenty of storage throughout the room, at the foot of the bed is a console with three cabinets, each with three eight-inch shelves. There is one EU and one US outlet above the console. Heavy drapes can be pulled to separate the sleeping from the living area. There are two large cabinets on each side when entering the living area. On one side is a bar set up with glasses, filter water that is refilled twice daily, your choice of complimentary wine and spirits, and a small refrigerator stocked daily with your choice of mixers, sodas, refrigerated refreshments, and ice. Seaborne primarily has Coke products, but Pepsi products are available as well. On the opposite side is located your television and four additional cabinets with two above the television and two below the television. The television has an excellent selection of live channels, television on demand, and movies on demand. Also, you can find the bridge cam 
and on-demand selections of the onboard lectures. Each cabin comes with a welcome setup of Moet Chandon Champagne. The living space has a large table with two chairs and an ottoman. With outlets under the table, this table can be used as a desk. This table can be set up for room service, which is available 24 hours daily. And it is complimentary. The living space also comes with a full-size sofa that can be converted into a daybed if needed. Entry to the large veranda is via a swinging door. The view is unobstructed above and below this cabin. If you are traveling with friends or other companions that are adjacent to you, ask your cabin steward to open up the dividers between your verandas. On it you will find two high back chairs with lumbar pillows and slide under ottomans as well as a table. There is 13 inches of clearance under each bed so that you may store your luggage there easily. We were able to fit two rolling duffels without any difficulty. What we usually do is travel with a carry-on backpack and we usually store our carry-ons inside our rolling duffels and then place them under the bed. The wardrobe is located between the sleeping area and the bathroom, and this is one of the most loved features of Seaborne cabins. Inside there are four hooks where you will find your hair dryer, slippers, and then a tie rack next to them. You'll find a console with your life jackets on the top shelf, a plush blanket for your use during your cruise on the second shelf, a very large safe, and this safe was large enough to fit two laptops, two tablets, our phones, wallets, cash, passports, and jewelry. Below this are four large drawers. On the hanging side of the closet, you will find multiple hangers with three sections, two for shorter garments and one for full length garments. Also, you'll find your bathrobes here. Climate control are located next to the closet and we found the climate control in the room to be very responsive and comfortable. There is a small vanity with a stool outside the bathroom. It is not lit very well and does not have a magnifying mirror. It does have a small drawer for storage and an EU and a US outlet. On all cruises, we personally bring a magnifying suction cup mirror that we can move anywhere around the room, including the bathroom, the vanity, and even the veranda doors. The bathroom is located near the cabin door. And this is really another beloved feature of Seaborne cabins. It is spacious and well lit and maximizes space. There are two sinks and a separate shower, as well as a large, well-lit anti-fog mirror. There are grab bars in the tub, next to the commode, and in the shower. There are handheld shower nozzles in the tub, as well as in the shower. There is a retractable clothesline over the tub. Ask your cabin steward if you need a shower chair, as this could be placed in the shower or in the tub. There is an extra vanity mirror that has a regular magnification on one side and a 10 times magnification on the other side. Obviously, you can move this around the room if you want different lighting, although the lighting in the bathroom is excellent. Toiletries are provided by Molten Brown and various scents are available for you to use while you're on the cruise. The shower is next to the commode with a glass door. There are two shelves inside, as well as a fixed and a handheld shower nozzle. There is also a grab bar inside the shower. There is shelving located to the right of the sinks 
below the sinks, and then behind the sinks. So there is plenty of storage while you're on board. There are two hooks on the back of the bathroom door. There are night lights in the bathroom that can remain on throughout the evening and have a very low light to them and are very useful for those nighttime bathroom trips. You are able to send out laundry from this level of cabin for a fee. Some levels of Seaborn Club membership do have free laundry services. However, there is complimentary laundry facilities located on this ship on Deck 5. There are plenty of washers and dryers, irons, free detergent, as well as a steamer. As we said previously, 24-hour room service is available and is complimentary. Door hangers are available to put out your breakfast order the night before, but we found the morning service to be so quick that we were able to order our coffee and morning breakfast and receive it in under 30 minutes every time. Complimentary coffee drinks are available throughout the day in the Seaborn Square. Occasionally there is a short line to get a coffee, and an insider tip is to pre-order your coffee order on the Seaborn app. Then you can skip the line and pick up your order at the designated location. With each veranda, you will have a personal suite host and a suite attendant. Your host and attendant will do things such as welcome you with champagne and hors d'oeuvres, personalize your nightly turndown service, assist you with any special requests, manage your laundry service needs, replenish your ice and bar setup, and even draw you a pure pampering bath on request. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation. Look for more reviews on this magnificent ship, as well as cabins and other information. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation, and we'll see you next time.